Sabat Shalom. Sabat Shalom. Three Coastal. Three Coastal. Ministries. Ministries. Subscribe to. Subscribe to. Our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel. Share with family. Share with family. And friends. And friends. Don't forget. Don't forget. Press the. Press the. Bell icon. Bell icon. Bye. Bye. On the day of the preparation, the day before Sabbath, it's always important to make sure all your devices are charged for the day of rest ahead. You gotta get trained up before you buy new plugins. It's also very important that we have water reserves. Sabbath, we have a campsite, we have water, our devices are charged, we have snack food, and of course, we have the word, Shabbat Shalom. It's gonna be a beautiful resting day. When enjoying Sabbath, it's important to delight in the day. So, we have snacks, veggies, main course, and dessert. Leave the cookware, fire, and steaks at home. Today, we're cold soaking our food. Bon appetit. Not every Sabbath is great though. Sometimes, there's catastrophes, blow-ups, accidents, and all types of horrible things. Today, Zach's tent broke, and this really devastated his heart. So, he's gone to be in silence, and I'm assuming prayer, as he grieves over the loss of his third tent. On the Sabbath, it's important that we take care of our animals. Let's go! We're going for a walk! All right, go. And for dinner, we're having wraps with smooth peanut butter and some fantastic sweet jam. Well, as we are staying at Julia's place and preparing for the Sabbath. It's about uh, an hour and a half until the Sabbath starts. So we're getting some dishes done. You know, the Sabbath at home, we have the ability to sleep in on comfy couches and beds. And while we have the blessing of staying at a house, we also get to watch live services on TV. What is that blessing? To receive the promise. On the Sabbath, Zach usually hangs out on his phone and plays video games. Oh, well, I'm so taking this notes. Is the blessing. <laughs> this is the good news that was preached beforehand to Abraham. That through Abraham and his capital S seed, the Messiah, and through belief in the Messiah, then a beautiful, powerful, transformational blessing will come to the nations who believe in Yeshua. And that blessing is that we will receive the indwelling set-apart spirit who does what? Gives us the want to and the power to be obedient. And when we obey what happens, we receive the life and the blessing that comes through Torah obedience. In other words, we're not set up for failure. We're set up for success in the New Covenant. Because the New Covenant is defined by what? And I shall, and I shall, and I shall, and I shall cause them to walk in my laws and guard my right rulings, and you shall do them. 
you're going to do them. If you're traveling from town to town, either by hitchhiking or walking, um, and you're homeless, it's uh, good to project where you'll be. We'll definitely won't be making it to Prince George before the Sabbath, as it's currently Thursday, and I really don't feel like walking 86 kilometers in the next two days. So by tonight, we will be in Hickson, and after this, the next town location won't be for another 60 kilometers at that point, which would be Prince George. So Zach and I must determine whether or not we want to walk all day Friday as well and rest Saturday night in an area which won't have clean water. It's more than likely we'll be staying in Hickson for two days. And so for this Sabbath, we found a public trail, which doesn't seem to be very active, where we uh, set up on the side. Yeah, this uh, arrangement, the Sabbaths outside in the tent in towns where we don't live. Um, you know what, it's getting, it's getting pretty difficult to do every week. Uh, I can't wait to have a place this winter. So yesterday we were camping uh, off the side of this trail and some lady came by and she was a little frightened because there's been some break-ins recently. Um, but when we cooled things down and let her know what we're doing, it turns out she was also a believer. And so uh, her mom invited us to stay on her property for the rest of the Sabbath. And we had a nice place to sleep. And so, uh, you know, it's just a wonderful blessing, that's for sure. Good morning. Today is the preparation day, so tomorrow will be Sabbath, or tonight will be. Uh, we slept in this little parking lot doohickey thing, and uh, there's no charging outlets here, there's no real resources around, it's probably not a useful place. So we're gonna head into town today, we're in Prince George. I've been here once and I just passed through, so I don't know what to expect, uh, but we have to do a lot of stuff today before the Sabbath begins, and hopefully we have everything done like our phones charged and uh, groceries for tomorrow and uh, a place to camp because that is gonna be an important thing. We definitely don't wanna be walking around all night long in a downtown area on the Sabbath. Maybe there'll be a park or some place where homeless people are allowed to camp. Um, heard this place is pretty rough. We had some interesting encounters yesterday, but lovely people. And of course, uh, it's gonna be a beautiful day. So we'll see you on the Sabbath. Nail clippers, purchased. Zach's phone, fixed. New shoes, got them. Library, done. Rain, one of the worst parts of uh, being homeless. Uh, five, six hours to go until Sabbath begins. And sometimes it's pouring rain, sometimes it's slow. Still, it's a bit of a struggle when you gotta find a place to sleep that's a little bit dry. But that's all right, God will provide. Well, earlier today, uh, I prayed and I said, uh, Elohim or Jehovah, God, please um, stop the rain until we can find a place and get the stuff done that we need to do. And five minutes later, it stopped raining. And so we got our stuff done. And then some guy came up to us, started asking us questions. And uh, he's inviting us to his property and to use his uh, devices. So we can um, stay there and. You want to buy some cigarettes? No, Jesus set me free from that. Five minutes later, it's starting to rain. Okay. So yesterday we recorded most of those videos of us doing stuff because we thought today was going to be Sabbath. <laughs> and we wake up this morning and uh, I had someone call me from the government today. I was like, government doesn't work on Saturday. And Zach's calling the church. I called, I, so I called the church and he's like, yeah, we don't do services on Fridays. I'm like, wait, what? And, 
I'm like, oh man, I, I don't have really much food today. And like, I don't know, we can't cook today. We're not really prepared all the way. And it turns out <laughs> it's not even Sabbath. <laughs> so yesterday, all those videos, we thought it was supposed to be for Sabbath, but it wasn't. But that's okay. We're going to have a great day anyways. And the, today's the day of preparation. So stick with us. And today, before the Sabbath, we are getting this fire started. Uh, unlike yesterday, we, we luckily had everything done. Blessingly had everything done. So, fire. Show far, show good. It's Shabbat. Well, when we first came here, uh, everything seemed to be pretty good. We shared with him our beliefs and uh, even gave him a little pamphlet with the, basically the good news on it. And, um, about, you know, Yeshua's death and resurrection and the payment of sin. And today it's the Sabbath, and so I've been watching um, Sabbath sermon, and uh, he comes in and he says he has on and on. Well, that's, for one thing, that's okay. But then he said something which was more of a direct indication of rejection of our God. And so, um, we're leaving. This is very difficult, especially since it's the Sabbath, but I believe this is what we're meant to do, is wipe the dust off our feet. And so, we'll go to a park and spend the rest of the day in nature. Cool. It's too cold here now, so we uh, might get rained on also. Time to leave and uh, try to find a new spot where we can actually set up our tent for the rest of the Sabbath and the night. We're currently getting ready for the Sabbath and so we're helping the person whose house we're staying at paint his walls. Good job, Zach. Keep up the great work. Well, today it's raining and it's the Sabbath. Very glad that we have a place to stay for the Sabbath because last Sabbath, uh, honestly, was a little bit uh, upsetting at the end of the day. But even if we kept on walking and were somewhere in the woods today resting, I'm sure we'd be provided for. This day we cooked a bunch of rice so we can eat throughout the day without having to cook. Might have some other stuff later on that we can just kind of soak in cold water. But uh, tea, tea's always nice. Let's have some tea on the Sabbath. Well, Zach only had four hours of sleep and Shane was calling him probably because it's the Sabbath. Zach, you gonna call Shane back? Shabbat Shalom. We are going to meet up today with some Torah keepers, Richard and Priscilla. Uh, fantastic. I'm really excited about this, that we were managed, we managed to get uh, through to them. Well, the start of our journey, we met some Torah keepers. In the middle of our journey, we met Todd, who at the time was only keeping the Sabbath and the dietary stuff, but I believe he's moved on to understand the importance of the rest of Torah. And now, towards the end of our journey, we're meeting Torah Keepers. Yesterday, uh, we met Rick on the highway. He uh, seen us a couple times driving back and forth with his family, and so he stopped to ask us what we're doing. So he, today, decided to meet us at our campsite and uh, come and bring us some wonderful items. We have a stove to cook on, and. Tons of water, tons of food, wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, may Jehovah bless them and his family. And today on the Sabbath, we had fellowship with Richard and Francis. They uh, 
sat over here hanging out and talking with us. We exchanged commonalities, uh, brought us some food, and uh, yeah, it's good to have fellowship on the Sabbath. Uh, but we were supposed to meet Priscilla today, and she has not showed up yet. A little concerned about that, but I uh, hope she's okay. And I'll keep you uh, I'll have an update after this video is done, I'm sure. Well, it was a blessed day. We ended up getting in contact with Priscilla, and she hung out with us, showed us around the town, and uh, you know, some future stuff may come from this. Well, when Sabbath ends, we're gonna sit down and enjoy a feast. Well, today's the preparation day, and we are in a house, so we can cook, and we can prepare meals for Sabbath. Today, I'm making a chicken cabbage soup. It's gonna be good. Well, it's the first Sabbath uh, in a house that's ours in a while. We got some good Sabbath soup. We got a show farm. And we're about to tell the neighborhood. It's Shabbat! They're gonna love us. Well, it's a wet day today, but we're having Sabbath in the house. We can get to some good scriptures, we can take care of some good dogs, and we can stay dry. And as I'm doing this study, Zach's over here. Listening to some music and reading some pamphlets that some random guy gave us on the side of the road. And he's testing this doctrine. Well, after Sabbath ended, I ended up cooking some turkey bacon and eggs. All right, really quick, the reasons why we, as believers in the Messiah, should keep the Sabbath day. First of all, the Bible says that if we love him, we will keep his commandments. Now, nowhere in the New Testament will you see Jesus explicitly saying, keep the Sabbath day, but we also are told we will walk as he walked, okay? And he, you know, kept the Sabbath day. In fact, the commandment is to remember the Sabbath day. We have forgotten the Sabbath day. God says in uh, Leviticus 23 that these are my appointed times. This um, word moadim in Hebrew uh, means appointed times. It is more of an idea of a date. God is setting forth a date with us. It's between us and our creator. Now, we can't choose this date. We're not making the date with him. We can make our own dates, but he explicitly tells us to set this day apart because he's meeting us there on a cycle. Every week, he will come and meet us there. Now, you may say to yourself, I worship God every day, but the Sabbath day isn't meant for a worship alone. It is not exclusively based on worship. As I just said, it is based on setting it apart. It is prophetic and it uh, represents the millennial reign. Um, and it has a lot of uh, important ideas to it. A lot of people say, well, I keep the Sabbath day on Sunday. But the thing is that we don't see that change happen in the Bible. That happens probably many years later uh, through the rule of Constantine. See, the only time that Sunday is mentioned as a place of gathering is in the verse below when Paul just finished Passover and it says they got together on the first day of the week. But that word there in Hebrew is Shabbatos, which means the first of the Sabbaths. This is the countdown to Pentecost. I'm not saying that the believers didn't get together any Sunday, but what the scripture is saying there isn't what you think it's saying. Thing is, if we love God, we will earnestly keep his commandments. They are not burdensome, and the Sabbath is a day we should delight in. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and please consider keeping the Sabbath.